sorts of bittersweet moments. Welcome everyone, welcome students to CST release question number 96, the last one for Algebra 2. If you've watched all of these props to you, uh, hopefully you will find it very helpful uh, and you'll do better because of it on something like a final exam or a CST. If you watched just some of these, great. I hope you found them helpful, the ones that you did watch. Um, come back for, for more later if you found them helpful and glad I could help. Uh, but either way, let's check it out. Let's see what we got here to finish up. So it says we've got these data values, 3, 6, 2, 1, 7, and 5. I see six data values right there. And it says James found the mean and standard deviation of the set of numbers given above. If he adds 5 to each number, which of the following will result? So it looks like we don't actually have to calculate the mean and standard deviation. We just have to think through logically what would happen if we added five to each number. So that list, the new list, would look like this. Eight, that's just three plus five. Six plus five is 11. We'd have seven, six, 12, and 10. So there's our new list of numbers. Is the mean going to change? Is the average value going to change if you add five to everything? Well, definitely. This average value would be a lot lower than this average value. So I'm going to cross off C. The standard deviation will change by five. Mm, that might be it. Let's come back to that. Is the mean going to get multiplied by 5 though? No, I just added 5 to everything. That would raise the average up 5, but not multiply it by 5. So not choice A. So between these two, the standard deviation increasing by 5 or the standard deviation not changing. A standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the data. Is this any more spread out than this was over here? No, we added 5 to all the values but the values are all still the same distance away from each other on a number line. You can think of it like that. This is still three away, just like it was here. So we've really just pushed the standard deviation. We pushed the mean forward, but without increasing or decreasing the standard deviation. So the spread of the data, maybe if you had a graph like this, you might be used to seeing kind of a bell-shaped curve like this. Uh, the spread of the data isn't any more spread out. It just got moved over something like this to the, the right. It's still spread out in the same way. The graph still looks like it's in the same shape. Uh, but again, the, the mean change, the mean moved to the right, but the standard deviation no more spread out. And so what's the answer for this one? It's not that the standard deviation increased at all. The, the data did not become any more spread out. It's choice D, the, de the standard deviation did not or will not change. Ah, number 96, that's it. Go get your Kleenex. Cry some tears, tears of bittersweet joy. Number 96, choice D.